All right, uh, fifth graders, your math today uh, is just multiplication. Okay, so um, when you see these words standard algorithm, that just means setting it up the way uh, this is called the standard algorithm, setting it up like this. In other words, it's not going to be um, it's not going to be lattice. That's not a standard algorithm, the lattice method. It's another method of finding the answer, but this is just telling you to do it with a standard algorithm. Okay, so I'm going to do one of these. You guys know, I believe, how to do this, but I will do one as an example. So we would go a times eight, and you know from your multiplication sheet that that's 64. So we put down the four and we carry the six. Then we come back to the 8, and we go 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 6 is 30. So we're going to put 30 here. Make sure you're making nice, neat columns. See, this is all in a column, these are all in a column, and this is a new column. So now we're going to go over here to the 2, and we're going to start multiplying times the 8. 2 times 8 is 16. We put down the 6 and carry our 1. Now here's the biggest mistake kids make. They take that 2 times 8 is 16 and they want to put the 6 here. So when you start multiplying here it goes in this column. So when you start multiplying here with the 2 it has to go in this column. Okay? Because you're really doing 20 times 8. Okay? But we won't get into that right now. But just remember to keep them in columns. So 2 times 8. Now, a lot of students like to put a 0 here as a placeholder, and that's okay. 2 times 8 is 16. Put down your 6, carry your 1. Then you go back to the 2. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. It goes in this column. Then you just draw a line and add these two together. So 4 plus 0 is 4, 6 plus 0 is 6, and 7 plus 3 is 10. And it's a whole number. We go 1, 2, 3, comma. I hope you all remember how to say this number. So this is the thousands place, 1,000. There's no hundreds. We just say 64. So 1,064. All right. All right. I will let you practice those last two on your own. And I'm going to move up my page here. All righty. Let's see here. Balanced equation. Use the operation symbols. All right. Here's your math operations. When you hear what operation do you use, that means one of these symbols when you use when you hear the word operation. So you're either going to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. That is operations in math. So use the operation symbols to make the equation true. Operations may be used more than once. All right. All right, I'm going to give you a hint on this, that none of these I mean, will have division in them. Oops, I didn't mean to make that a multiplication. So you are going to only use plus, minus, and times, okay? So you're going to put symbols in here, or the operation symbols in here, and then it has to equal what you put in here, all right? So let's see. Um, there's actually more than one answer. So I'm going to do one, and then I'm going to ask you to do another one, okay? So let me see which one I can do for you. That all right. So let's look at this. Two times three plus seven plus nine. equals 1 plus 5 
plus 8 times 4. All right, the other thing you want to remember about this is PEMDAS. Okay, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. All right. So P is for parentheses, that's these. There are no exponents in this. There is a multiplication. Oops, what did I do? Put a four there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is supposed to be a times. <laughs> times, not a four. There, I fixed it. How about that? All right. So let's see if this, okay, I was saying parentheses, exponents, there's no exponents, there's multiplication, there's no division, addition, and actually there's no subtraction. Now, when you redo it, you might use those others. The only one you add, that won't be in here at all is division, but there could be one with subtraction. All right, so we've got to do the um, parentheses first. So three plus seven, is 10 plus 9 is 19. Okay. And then we rewrite this to whoa, 2 times 19. And then equals, and now we're going to do the parentheses. 1 plus 5 is 6 plus. Okay, actually, okay, we did parentheses, but actually within the parentheses, I actually should have done this first because this is multiplication. It didn't affect it this way, but um, okay, hold everything. I gotta check something. Guys, I am so sorry. I feel like I'm confusing you. I hope you caught my mistake here. One plus five is not five. One plus five is six. My goodness, this is something else that I'm making several mistakes here. All right, so really we should have done this first, but it didn't do anything to it here. So two times 19 equals six plus 32. Well, let's do two times 19. If we go over here and do that, we find out that uh, 2 times 9 is 18, carry the 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So this side is 38, and so equals 32 plus 6 is 38. That's how I had noticed my mistake, because I, I had seen 32 plus 5, and I knew that was 37, so I knew something was wrong. All right. Here we go on that one, and we've got one more, and I've got to move this up, so I'm going to have to erase this. All right, so square cakes. For my party, I want a square cake with square slices. How many people can I have at my party? So for a party of four, okay, I see. They've given you a party of four. They want you to do, this is party of seven. Um, hold on a minute. All right, so let's just make a square cake. And I will do one, and then um, I will let you do one. Um, so here's a square cake. Oops. <laughs> Now you can see that this is not, uh, my squares are not the way they should be, but I don't know about you, but I'm not so sure I want to go to this party. Four people aren't going to get a very big piece. All right, so let's take a look. Suppose this is a party of four, and if we, keeping our squares, here's there. And then we would do this. All right, wait a minute. Now these are not, let's see. 
we got to make them squares. Oh, okay. So now this would be a party of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, this is a party of 16. I went a little farther. I was trying to do eight. So I will let you do eight or any number that you want. This is party for 16. And if these were done neatly, these would all be squares of cakes for a party of 16. So um, if, if you want to go ahead and try that with eight, of course, you could use a ruler at home and draw nice and neat so that you get nice squares. I will give you a hint that if I did 16, probably the easiest one to do would be a party for eight. So you give that a try, okay? All righty, uh, that's it for today. So um, work on that and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.